Welcome to APSC Bro. Environment forms a very important part of any year civil services paper. Whether we are preparing for UPSC or APSC, environment is a very important subject. And most of the questions of environment are usually inspired from the past year current affairs. So in this video, what we have done is we have picked up the important current affairs from the past one year and formulated MCQs which will be very very helpful for you in this year's preparation. Okay. So the first question that we have formulated is on the Global Biofuel Alliance. Alliance. Okay. Consider the following statements regarding Global Biofuel Alliance. The first statement. The alliance was formed during India's G20 presidency. Second statement, all the members of UNEP are also part of the alliance. Third, the alliance brings together major biofuel producers and consumers such as US, Brazil and India. So we have to pick out the correct statement. The first statement that the alliance was formed during the India's G20 presidency is correct. Okay. The third statement, the alliance brings together US, Brazil and India type of major biofuel producer and consumer is also correct. However, the second statement that all the members of UNEP are also part of the alliance is wrong. You can easily get a glimpse of this statement from the fact that its brainchild was in G20 form, summit. Hence, all the members of UNEP might not be involved. So the second statement is wrong. So our right statement is that one and three are correct. Next question. Consider the following statements regarding the recently published Climate Change Performance Index CCPI 2024. Okay. Here also we have to pick out the correct statements. The first statement, it is published by German Watch, the New Climate Institute and the Climate Action Network International. So this statement is correct and a very important statement. Usually, this kind of indexes are important from the point of view who publishes them and who tops that index. So, the first statement is correct and you have to buy it. Second statement that India secured 7th position is also correct. Third statement, US secured the first position. Now, this statement is wrong. In fact, no country performed well enough in all index categories to achieve an overall very high rating and that's why the first three overall positions were empty so no country secured the first second and third position only the fourth position was given to denmark and so on okay so we have the first and second to be correct option and hence our option b is the correct answer Next question regarding Climate Ambition Summit. Consider the following statements regarding recently held United Nations Climate Ambition Summit. Okay, We have given two statements and we have to pick up the correct statement. Okay. First statement, it was held in United Nations Headquarters, New York on the 20th September 2023. India and China formed part of the main committee. Okay. So the first statement which says that it was held in United Nations headquarters New York is the correct answer. However, India and China was not even a part of this summit. Hence, the second option, that is the second statement, is wrong. So, only a, we have one statement and so the correct answer will be B, that is one only. China, the US and India, which collectively accounts for about 42% of the global greenhouse gas emissions, and other top three emitters in that order were all absent from the climate ambition summit and that was a big question mark on the summit so this is a very important information first thing among the global greenhouse emissions the top three are china us and india topped by china followed by us and then india Next question is on the very important question and is based on the wildlife licensing rule 2024 which has been recently uh, formed. So we have two statements here, one and two and we have to pick up the correct statement. The first statement, the rules published in 1983, see we, this time it is published in 2024, the previous rules that was published in 1983. The rules published in 1983 states that no such license shall be given to trade in wildlife specified in schedule 1 or part 2 of schedule 2 of the wildlife protection act 1972 
except with the previous consultation of the central government. So what in the previous rules, what it was said that no license for trade will be given to for regarding any animal which is specified in Schedule 1 or Part 2 of Schedule 2 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Okay, this was regarding the earlier statement, earlier uh, wildlife licensing rule, and this is the correct statement. Second statement says that the new rule says so, says no such license shall be granted if it relates to wildlife specified in Schedule 1 to the Act except with the previous consultation with the central government. And both these statements are correct. See what is the difference is that in the earlier rule it was said that if an animal falls under Schedule 1 or Part 2 of Schedule 2 then they will be immune and they cannot be traded, no license will be allowed. That was previous rule. However, this was changed in this year's rule in 2024. It says that only the animals which falls under Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act will get the immunity and no such immunity will be given to the Part 2 of Schedule 2 animals. Okay, So we have both the statements correct. This means that the restrictions on Schedule 1 species which includes animals requiring utmost protection such as tigers elephant rhinos etc okay so the, the tigers rhinos elephant they all fall under schedule one they will have this immunity however schedule two encompasses important species such as endangered mammals bird turtles geckos snakes etc and their exclusion from this year's licensing restrictions raises concerns about the level of protection they will receive okay so this is a very important uh, uh, current affairs and high probability of being asked in the examination so have a read on this okay. next question is on seaweed cultivation recently the national conference on promotion of seaweed was held in which state tamil nadu gujarat maharashtra goa the correct answer is kutch in gujarat okay However, additional information, there is a multi-purpose seaweed park in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Next question, regarding carbon border tax. Recent, recently, a mechanism called gar, carbon border tax has been initiated that might impact India's export costs. There is a country or a, a region which have recently, you know, uh, brought into effect the carbon border tax uh, policy or mechanism which might impact India's export okay? because it will increase the export cost. So we are asking you which region or country is planning to do so. Options are US, Canada, European Union or Australia. The correct answer is European Union. This policy is set to impose a fair price on carbon emissions associated with the production of specific goods imported into the EU and hence because India exports a lot of goods into EU, uh, European Union, so India feels that this carbon tax might, border tax might, increase the export cost and hence affects its economy. Okay. Next question is regarding greenwashing. Recently, the United Kingdom's Advertising Standards Authority has banned advertisement from Air France, Lufthansa and Etihad, accusing them of greenwashing. Now, the question is, what is greenwashing? Is it a matter of cleaning aircrafts? using green technology b is it a re releasing is it greenwashing is re releasing harmful chemicals into environment in highly eco sensitive zone or greenwashing is a deceptive practice which companies or even governments exaggerate their actions and their impact on mitigating climate change climate change the correct answer is c see whenever there is a party there is a com private company or even a government claims falsely that this particular product or this particular action is uh, you know climate friendly or environment friendly whereas it is not then this is called greenwashing that means you are bluffing you are showcasing your uh, policy or your product as a green product however it is not that much your claims are false then that claim is called greenwashing okay so it's a deceptive practice so correct answer is c Next question is regarding the Conference of Parties 28. Recently, the 28th Conference of Parties, COP28, to the United Nations Framework Convention of Climate Change was held in which place? Singapore, Paris, Dubai, or Jakarta? The correct answer is Dubai. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग एलिमिनेटिंग प्लास्टिक पॉल्यूशन बाय ट्वेंटी फोर्टी रिसेंटली ए इंटरिम रिपोर्ट टाइटल टूवर्ड्स एलिमिनेटिंग प्लास्टिक पॉल्यूशन बाय ट्वेंटी फोर्टी ए पॉलिसी पॉलिसी सीनियर एनालिसिस एहेड ऑफ द इंटर गवर्नमेंटल नेगोशिएटिंग कमिटी ऑन प्लास्टिक पॉल्यूशन वॉज पब्लिश हु पब्लिश यू एन ई पी वर्ल्ड बैंक ओ ई सी डी और ए डी पी द करेक्ट आंसर इज ओ ई सी डी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग कार्बन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम रिसेंटली द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हेज अनवेल एंड इनोवेटिव रिवल्यूशन ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम डिजाइन टू रिवार्ड एंड सेंसिटाइज इंडिविजुअल्स एंड एंटिटीज फॉर देयर पजिटिव एनभारमेंटल कंट्रीब्यूशनस ओके दिस ग्रीन क्रेडिट सिस्टेम मेनलि इनिशिएट्स फ्रम द कार्बन क्रेडिट सिस्टेम प्रोग्राम हुई वज आर्लियर इनिशिएटेड कार्बन क्रेडिट Mechanism originates from which summit? Earth Summit, Montreal Protocol, Kyoto Protocol, or Paris Convention? Now, this is a carbon credit program or green credit program. This is a very important mechanism for climate change and energy, uh, environment conservation. So, these are very important. Please have a read on this. You have to understand where, from where this carbon credit mechanism or the whole uh, thinking came from. It is from the Kyoto Protocol. These protocols and summits are very important. We have a separate video for this. We'll share the link in the description box. Please go through that video. They are very important questions from the prelims point of view. So these are the questions which you feel that are important from the current affairs from the past one year. We'll be bringing up more such videos for you from all the subjects, including environment, science and tech, culture, etc. Like and subscribe our channel. Keep following our channel. Share it to your friends so that we get your support. Thank you so much.